That's nice. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, Lance and I are going to be doing a Papa and Daddy Q&A because obviously we recently became dads and it's been the most awesome journey ever. And Robbie is literally the cutest thing in the whole world. I can't even explain it to you. And also, I've been working with Pampers Pure to launch their brand new range of nappies and wipes in the UK. We've been using these on Robbie as we were looking for products that are made with kind to skin, nature inspired ingredients, but at the same time perform extremely well and Pampers Pure does just that. I think it's awesome that a brand like Pampers has chosen to partner with a dad, and not only that, a same-sex couple, meaning we're included as a family and a brand that stands for exactly that. So, let's get to the question, shall we? Should we get to the first question? No. But we are going to. All right. So the first question is from Jack Law. Stop. Hi, Jack. Yeah, I know, he sent in a question, asking when's the next one coming along? Well, is he gonna come help? Yeah. Yeah, when's his coming along? The truth of the matter is, is that somehow between Robbie Ray's birth and now, I've put on 10 pounds, so I, we might be well on our way. <laughs> I've got a dad bod workout we can do to yeah. help avoid that. Next video, get rid of dad bod, I know. Next question is from Daily Daily, saying, have you been getting sleep since Robbie Ray was born? What is that? Tough on parents, I've heard. Hmm. To I've be heard fair, of sleep. To be fair, he is a pretty good sleeper. Isn't yeah, he? I'm not a good sleeper. He's a great sleeper. He's he's sleeping through the night already, thanks to your Oh, I think she said it now. What? He's not going to sleep through the night well, anymore. I don't sleep through the night. Why should he? Literally, both of you are snoring next to me. He's a great sleeper. You're a great sleeper. I need help, people. Next question is from Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Who says, which one's daddy and which one's papa? So, it was a little bit of like, what do we call ourselves? Is it, should it be dad and dad, dad and daddy, daddy, papa, dad, papa? There's so many different variations. The conclusion we came to is that if, when Robbie is 30 years old and he calls one of us daddy, it might be a little bit weird. So, it's dad, Lance is dad. I feel like half the net internet's been calling me daddy for quite a long time. Hashtag daddy, so I'm daddy. I'm dad, daddy. That's what I've gotten used to. I read it all the time. Ask Twitter. And I'm Papa. Yeah. So, Papa T. Papa T. And Daddy DLB. Daddy D and Papa T. <laughs> Next question is from MayaB2110 who says, How is little Robbie doing and what has been the best part of being a parent so far? He's got the life, people. Are you kidding me? Gets fed. Oh, he just, he just eats, he sleeps, he poops, he repeats. It's amazing. I, and, and when he poos, like other people take care of it, all of it. Yeah, when he's hungry, a lot of it. someone just feeds him. I mean, we give him a bath each night. Who's giving me a bath each night? No one. But to the point of who's the, what's been the best part to me is when he looks at you and you finally see that he looks into it and it feels like he's looking into your soul. It's like the most special thing for any parent, especially now he's starting to smile and oh, laugh. It's the most yeah. amazing thing. Next question is from Cleed4747, who says, who changes the most diapers? I do think that is pretty evenly split. Yeah. Now, One thing though, I didn't know before being a parent is this. Right, no, I'll no. be, I'll be, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show, okay, you, show, you show, describe. Show. So, here is a lovely pumps. I've always wanted to do this, like hey. on the game shows. Like huh? on the game shows. Oh, I'm just, explain I know, but I'm just modeling it. Okay. So. If you can see this yellow line, I'm going to show it to the side camera. This yellow line on the front of the nappy, it turns blue when he's peed. You don't even have to open the nappy to know if he's peed or not. But I had no idea that a nappy could even do that. And also, it, like, it soaks in all of the moisture, so when you take it out, it's got the heart quilt inside, and it is dry. Yeah, it's very dry. I like the sentiment that's written across this. I say, Tom, thank you for changing this nappy and I love you. It says it right there across it. It's great, so that's for you. Next question is from Miller underscore Lapasti. Lapasti? I don't know. Who says, what is the most noticeable change in your life after Robbie's birth? Love you all. I think the most noticeable thing that changes when you have a kid is that it changes your perspective on everything, right? I think so. Like yeah. now, he is the thing that our life revolves around and it, we, it's one of the most amazing things and you don't even... I can't even remember what it was like before being a parent, if I'm honest. Do you? I have vague memories of sleep, mm. but, I, but, but they're distant. 
Yeah. But here's the here's the thing. It, I was doing it even today, uh, and you know, I mean, it's part of my job. Like, I feel like my job has always been to understand how people are feeling and reacting, and how you're treating people and how they're treating each other. And it's from character work and film and TV and stuff. And I thought I was good at it. And now I realize I could have been better. Like having a kid makes you really empath empathetic. It makes you a little more patient. It makes you want to be a little more kind. And that just brings you so much happiness and joy and love. Well, there's that too. Yes. Next one is from Zara Machav. Machav, your biggest fear about being a parent. I think anyone's biggest fear about being a parent is messing up. And all we want is what's best for Robbie Ray. And we will always try and do the best thing, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I had a lot of fears when it, yeah. before. I was so, I'm so poop and vomit phobic. I hope this isn't sharing too much. Like, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to hear about it. If I saw like vomit on a, on a school bus, I was number two to throw up. And, and you just realize like in parenting, as it comes along, you're like, that's actually not that scary. I'm gonna say this, the first time he pooed, I looked at that well-formed poo and I had never been prouder in my life. I was so proud of Robbie Ray's first little poo. So proud. It wasn't little. It was not little, it was, no. it was fantastic. Next question is from Poppy White, who says, how did you decide on the name Robbie? Well, Robert was his name on his birth certificate and we named him Robert after my dad, who passed away in 2011, so, and then Ray came from Lance's family, and it is a name, middle name in his Southern Texan family, right? Yeah, because if you name someone like with a Ray middle name, they might be a country music star. <laughs> so he might be Robbie Ray. Like that's all, like he could be a country music star. I don't listen to country music that much, but he could be a country music star. There is a country music star, Hannah Montana's dad. Fictional. I mean, a real one. Fictional. Fictional character. I mean, you know, he can be whatever he wants, but we're setting him up for success in the South, in the United States with a, with a guitar or a banjo, some cowboy boots. Next question is Holly E. Pearson saying, greatest moment of your life winning the world championships or getting your son? Without a doubt, our son. Yeah. So. I've never won a world championship. Well, you won know. an Oscar. Yeah. That's a good comparison. Yeah, but that was so stressful. And definitely the son. A son's is, like pure joy. Our son is a, by far will ever be the best thing in our lives. Like there's nothing that has made us happier. I like feel more love. Our friends and family are, have been brought together. Texas to Plymouth are together as one. And it's just such a, an amazing moment in our family and in our life. So I would, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, say our, our little Robbie Ray. That moment when your son or daughter is born. It's, it's mind blowing, it's reorienting. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's an easy one. So the next question is from G, G, Jesus.mt. G-S-U-S, Jesus. Jesus is asking us a question. So, well, Jesus has asked, what's the most difficult thing about being same-sex dads? Now, being same-sex dads does have its challenges and yeah. stereotypes and- No, not, not everybody was on board right away. No, but, no. Now, since in the streets having Robbie Ray and pushing him around in his pram, it has been like all stereotypes are race. Everyone just is so happy for us and seeing us as a family and the love that we share and the love that we have. But it does come with challenges. For example, you know, toilets that in the men's toilets that don't have changing tables. Yeah, that's true. That can be a little bit challenging. But one thing that I think is awesome and one of the main reasons why we're doing this is that Pampers Pure has decided to partner with not only a dad but dads from same-sex couples. Yeah good point. It's, it's, it says loud and clear like yes uh, same-sex families are a part of the Pampers family which has got a long tradition of you know supporting families but also dads right? Yeah. Dads have a big part in raising children and if they don't they ought to. Come on, dads, step up. Dads and do diapers too. Dads do diapers too. You love that. I love that because you didn't say nappies. Because I'm winning. I'm winning. I only said it. Winning. Dads do diapers too. Next question is from Lacey, who says, "What was it like on the other side of surrogacy? Mm. I'm currently in the process of being a surro, which is wow. short for surrogacy." Wow. Come I mean, I, I have to say, like, uh, I'm sure the intended parents are over the moon grateful. You know, whether they're 
uh, a gay couple or like most uh, intended parents are having trouble with uh, fertility or health problems or whatever it is that meant they couldn't have their own kids. So, I mean, thank you, Lacey. Next question is from Sunil underscore mystery. He says, how do you fit childcare around busy schedules and traveling? Now the one lovely thing is that Lance is a filmmaker, so he spends most of his time writing on a laptop and he can stay at home. I know, I'm lucky. I'm like, I get to, he's like, he's just become my writing partner. So he sits there right next to me. He's, he's very inspiring. He, he rarely to never thinks I'm doing a bad job. Mm. No notes, no That's creative nice. notes. Uh, every three hours, you know, uh, he might get a little upset and I, I worry that he thinks I've done a bad job and then I realize he just, you know, needs a change or a feed. But the truth of the matter is, like, we wanted to have a kid so bad and a lot of people make uh, decisions about how they're going to care for their child um, and we're in a fortunate position to be able to care for our child ourselves. And yeah, that means less sleep and that means some interruptions, but I mean, this is something that we both so wanted so badly. Next question is from Isabel Lithen, who says, when did you realize that you wanted to have a baby in your family? Now, I've always been a big family guy, and yeah. I've always wanted a kid more than anything in the whole planet. Like, I started buying baby clothes before I even met Lance. It's true. And so, to be able to pass on the lessons that my mom and dad have taught me onto a kid of our own has always been a dream of mine, right? Yeah. We made the decision on, like, the first real date, like, when I flew over here and we went out and we went on a long bike ride and we started naming our future children. I mean, it's probably like, we broke a lot of the rules about yeah, dating. About dating. Want, like, yeah. don't talk about marriage, don't talk about kids, because then some, they're gonna think you're crazy. And that's what we talked about, marriage and kids. And we named our kids. And, and we stuck to that name. And we stuck to that name, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little Q&A. By now, you know that we only want the very best for little Robbie and don't ever want to compromise on quality or performance. And Pampers Pure is trusted for exactly that. They're made with kind to skin ingredients and up to 12 hours of dryness. There is also a link in the description box below to find out more and where you can buy them. But for now, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.